Jin here from Coding Quick Tips, and today I will show you how to get a bit movement into the scenes that we have created in the previous video. Um, now it's quite boring because the ball just stays at one place. Um, to change this, we will need to change the position of the image over time, so we will need to change the position constantly to get the effect of a moving image. To do that we will need to delete the static coordinates of the image and we must replace them with some dynamic coordinates. To do this I will just create two variables called private flat, flat x and y. I use flat because Slick also uses flat in his drawing method so it's I think the best choice here. I will just give them a starting value of zero in the init method. Now we must change it here to actually render the image at our x and y position. If we test our game now, it should render the image at zero, zero. Um, to get movement into it, we will need to change the position of the um, object every update call or every every time the image get rendered it should move a little bit further to the right let's say. To get this effect we will use the update method where you will do uh, where you do basically all your calculation, movement and logical stuff from your game. In our case we will just um, increment the x coordinate um, to get the effect of uh, movement. I will increment it by, let's say, 0.1 per update, and if I now hit run, the image moves. Um, but here we get a small problem, because you see I got 600 FPS, and now the update method get called 600 times per second on my PC. If I would have a slow PC, let's say with only 60 FPS, we can set this here in the settings. Set uh, this target frame rate. So I will set this to 60 to show this the effect. To show you the effect, now I have only 60 FPS instead of 600 from before, and the picture moves a lot slower. Um, set is not good because you want your game to be completely equal on every machine it's running on. To get this effect, Slick provides a, a variable called t, sets the delta type between the calls of the methods. Um, to use this delta time, you just multiply all your speeds with the delta time and then it should be the same speed at every computer because the delta time is higher if your frame rate gets lower so if I only get 60 updates the um, delta time will be bigger than if I get 600 upta um, updates per second um, through this we can um, have the same speed on every machine with every frame rate you can see this by changing the target frame rate to, let's say, 100. Now our image should move at the same speed. And it should also move at the same speed if I change it to 1000. There we go. So delta time um, just helps you to get a um, smooth and constantly um, movement and you should always use it if you change variables with every update call because then you are independent from the frame rate you are running your game on. Um, I will also increment the y every update at 0.1 multiplied by t and now we will have the effect that our image will move from the top left to the right button. You can also rotate your image every update by calling the i.rotate method. If you now rotate it, let's say, by the delta time every update, 
we should have a rotating and moving image. Let's see, and there we go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial 